Hey everybody, this is Quakey from Next Gen Windows, bringing you another Windows 8 app review. Today's app review is XE Currency. XE Currency is pretty much a currency converter. You can convert it to various countries and various units of uh, various uh, currencies across the world. Uh, they have a list here of all the currencies that you can select. You can see it's it's pretty long. Uh, first, right thing off the bat that I would like to tell you guys about is that. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was using this was that uh, you can't actually jump to a specific letter. Uh, you have to scroll through or swipe through to get to each letter, which I wish they had. I wish you could just click one of these letters and you could jump straight to it, especially since this list is pretty long. Uh, sure, you could just scroll through or swipe through, but I just wish you could just jump straight to it if you were trying to get it done quickly. Uh, but back to the beginning of the application you can see on the far left side here we have the different we have the from and to here uh, two is the six that I chose that I wanted to uh, you know convert to so you can see I put sixty dollars here from US uh, currency if I hit enter you can see how much sixty dollars is worth in various other currencies across the, around the world that I chose. So like right here, you have the British pound, you have the Euro, Australian dollar, uh, Emirati, Dirham, I'm not sure if I even said that right, feel free to correct me, uh, Brazilian real and Indian rupee. Uh, so you can see different, uh, how much different amount, amounts cost, uh, how much different amounts are worth in different countries. That's pretty much what this application is in a summarization. Um, but some cool things that you can do is that uh, say if you want to remove a currency from this uh, to list uh, you can just right click it should be able to just right click it there you go you can right click it or just uh, tap tap it and then drag down slightly and it'll select it and then you can hit remove or pin to start pinning it to start will just automatically show you how much one USD or one whatever amount you chose from on the from tab is worth. So we'll just hit remove, and you can see that it just uh, it pulled Brazilian real up on the list. Uh, another thing is that you can also add different things to the list and everything. You can see I want if I want to add Afghan, Afghani, uh, I can just you know right click it or just tap it, and then I can also hit add or add to pin to start. So if I hit add. You can see it adds it to the bottom of the list, and you can rearrange the list however you want it. So you can see uh, I can rearrange this to put the Afghan, Afghani to the top of the list uh, if I wanted to. And then also another thing I wanted to show you guys was the snap view. That's something I realized I haven't been doing on my recent uh, app reviews. So if I put it in snap view, here's how it looks like here. And one thing you will notice is that this is the it only shows your you know your top selection of uh, applications not applications top selection of currencies uh, currency I only currently I only have six uh, but I'm pretty sure I'll show you guys what happens if you add more so let's let's add more let's add one more here so we have seven and it makes us have to scroll and then when we snap it to the side you can see you have you can scroll through and add as many as you want and then on top of that whatever amount that you add oops I actually went back whatever amount that you add uh, you can actually you know select it on this list from the to convert it to something else so if I wanted to change USD to Afghan Afghani you can see that it'll show up here and then uh, now USD is down down here and you can see that I'm converting this to this now so it's just different things so basically if you're multitasking and you're trying to do some cal financial calculations and stuff or if you're just moving around and stuff uh, around the world you can see how much different things are worth if you have your tablet on the go so that's a pretty cool uh, reason to use this application but overall I do recommend this application you can also one last thing is uh, you can see when the currencies were last updated so you can see it was last updated August 6th at, I think this is uh, 6 22 p.m. Uh, but you can see it's a long list and it's pretty cool I recommend this for anyone who likes to convert currencies and needs to know what different currencies are worth in different uh, areas of the world it'd be a pretty good application for that last thing we'll show off is the settings see what's there uh, all they have here is preferences which allows you to display symbols so if I turn this off you notice the symbols go away if I turn it on it it comes back how many decimal places you want to select so if you want to just continue just pull it to the highest you can if you want to just have two 
you can do that too so I'll leave it like that unit conversion you can do inverse conversion inverse unit conversion so if I click that you can see the inverse and if I click it again uh, you can see the inverse again and then if you want to just show nothing you can show nothing it all appears down here uh, also you can just go to unit conversion just leave it like that so back out of preferences you can see about which is pretty much just about the uh, company that made it xc.com and then permissions it doesn't add need any permissions except for lock screen if you decide to need it I don't ever think you'll ever need to make this your lock screen application so I don't think there's any reason to use it but aside from that this is XE currency XE currency is just a currency converter for all the pretty much all the currencies around the world uh, or at least all the ones that are that are like major I guess uh, they do have a lot of them I'm not gonna count because I could sit here for a long time counting how many currencies they have listed here uh, you can see it goes all the way to Z so yeah that's about it this has been Kwaku from next gen windows and I'll catch you guys later peace